hello and welcome to the channel i am pillow zm and on today's video we are creating the look that you just saw a few seconds ago so i'm starting off by doing a side parting on one side and i'm going to do the same thing onto the other side that's why i am measuring the distance from the center for both partings to ensure that they are the same distance away from the center now these two partings go towards the back of my head but they don't go all the way to my nape now that the partings are done i'm just clipping off my hair which is on the side using crocodile hair clips that you can purchase from cosmetic connection now i am just connecting the two side parts at the back of my head so here is what the parted section looks like and how i've parted it right so i basically have a rectangle of hair sectioned off now i'm just closing off that middle parting and doing a line from one of the side partings toward the other side parting and creating my first section on the rectangle of hair now that i have that i'm just going to measure it to ensure that i have the same amount of hair on my second section of hair that i am parting out I now have my second section and I'm just going to clip that off with the crocodile hair clip to make sure it does not distract me as I work on the first section. We're going to use rubber bands for this hairstyle and I have put them in some oil. Now I am twisting the hair that is on the first section and laying it down. This is perfect for someone who doesn't know how to flat twist or how to do cornrows. Once I am at the end, I take one of the rubber bands and then I'm just going to tie it onto the that last bit of hair that I'm holding to make sure that the twisted hair does not unravel and that is it for the first section of hair we are going to do the same thing onto the second section following exactly the same instructions so I just hold the hair lay it down and twist it like that I don't know how to describe what I'm doing in words but I'm hoping that the demonstration is enough. Once I am at the end of the second one, I'm going to take the hair from the first section, right? And then I'm going to hold these two together with the hair that is on the second section and then i'm going to put on my rubber band but when i hold the hair from the first section i do not hold it too tight because i want it to have a bit of volume following the same instructions i did my third row of twisted hair and connected the hair from the second row onto that one and now i'm working on my fourth and last row basically just twisted the hair flat and then connected the hair from the previous row onto that one and held it all together using a rubber band now at the back i'd like it to have some volume hence i am ensuring that it's not as flat as the front and here i would just like to have one more bubble of hair so i'm just going to put on a rubber band onto the section of hair that is from the last row which will not be connected to another row because we are done with the hair that was on the top section I'm now going to use the Styling Dreads Molding Gel Wax, so the amount on my finger and I'm going to spray that with some water just to make sure that it's more movable, okay, because it is a bit stiff since it is a molding gel wax and not just a gel. And I'm going to apply that throughout the hair that I did not twist down just to ensure that when I do brush this hair back, it is nicely laid down. After applying the molding gel wax, I'm just going in with this hairbrush and after this hairbrush, I'm going to go in with a brittle brush, okay? I am going in with both brushes just to make sure that my hair is as smooth as I can get it to be. I'm also going to brush the back because I am going to be doing a bit of a low bun so I'd like everything to look neat and flattened. Now I'm just holding all the hair together and I'm going to be using the string to tie everything together. And then here I am just putting on the string. You can use an elastic band or any hair tie of your choice. You do not need to use a string. 
after wrapping it i just tie a knot once i'm done wrapping it and i'm later going to tuck that away so now i am dividing the hair into two sections and i'm holding the first section and putting on a rubber band on it so i'm just going to be doing four bubbles on this hair section that's why i'm putting on the rubber band on both sections where it will be sitting at like the middle of the section and then the second rubber band will sit at the end of the section so here i'm tying it around the first section and then i tie it around the second section so for the last part i'm using one rubber band because i feel that if i put one rubber band on each section there will be too much pressure and this hair is towards the ends and i don't want that so the small piece of hair that remains i twisted it and now i'm going to tuck it in using this crochet hook just to hide everything and make it look nice at this point i'm basically done with the hairstyle and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video here is the final reveal Please make sure that you like the video, subscribe if you have any questions or anything you'd like to say, leave it in the comment section. I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!